Hi everyone and welcome to the Motion Tools Pro tutorial. So make sure to install it as an extension using ZXP installer from IS Scripts. So once you open Motion Tools panel 1, uh, just type your credentials, your password and click login. Once you login, you can see this setup. And as you can see, it's really similar to the Motion Tools 2. And let's change the cell size to save some space. Okay. And as you can see, we can rearrange the buttons and also delete them or add and customize your Motion Tools as much as you want. So let's change Motion Tools to the new one. I don't need Motion Tools 2 anymore because we have a lot more possibilities. So let's open Motion Tools panel 2. And why we have four panels? So the answer is that you can duplicate them and um, place your tools whenever you want. So for example, right now I want to add four buttons, duplicate comp, crop comp and unpre comp to the top. And let me also place motion tools panel 2 to the top. Amazing. So that's the answer, for example, to understand why we have four panels. Let's create another one. And for example, I want to make like only one button in one panel. So for example, you want to make them noticeable uh, because you're using uh, like slider to pass, for example. Let's make it. So I deleted slider pass from Motion Tools panel one and place it to the Motion Tools panel 3. And let me change the size of it. So for example, like that. So if you are using only one button, always you can place it. So the choice is yours. Let's also customize the Motion Tools panel 2 that we have on top. I want to decrease the cell size to 30 for example to save even more space nice and since we have four panels so let me create another one so i will delete the collect colors click remove and Let's add it to another panel. So collect colors, click add and let's increase the cell size. And I also want to customize it. So in the background section, click file, click on the folder and let's choose some GIF. Click update. You can also like hide the icon and you will have just the image for example. You can also customize the buttons for example reposition anchor point it has uh, his own colors the highlights and so on so Let's click on the settings of reposition anchor point. Click on it and you can see background color, primary hover color. And let's change. And button hover color, I want to change to something like that. And it's already changed and you can use it in your panels.
amazing. You can do the same with other panels. Everything is customizable. Okay, so let me show you how I made my own setup. And you can see I have two panels, one on the top. And I want to change the background to some image. Right now it's look a little bit boring. So I have some image. Make sure that you compress them. Don't use like huge images. So something like 100 kilobits will be fine. So you can use compress JPEG website for compression. And let's choose the image. When you click update, you can see that the image appeared on the screen and it looks awesome and gave me some personalization. Okay, great. Let's do the same with the first panel. You can also place the GIF, but I don't like it. Let's use static images. So I will use the same. Great. So once you gave some personalization, you can place them in any place. Don't copy my workflow, use your own and it will be much better. I will be glad to see how you customized and made your own setup. So please send them in Discord. Great, so let me show you how to work with each button. So the first one is elastic. And I already made some three rectangles and position. So if you choose position keyframes and click on elastic, you can see this like spring move. If you choose all keyframes of all layers, it will make expression for all layers. And you can see some slider that's uh, placed on each layer. So if you want, for example, to make only one slider and to manipulate uh, all rectangles with one slider, you can hold Alt and click on the elastic again. So once you did it, you can see elastic control layer. And if you manipulate amplitude, frequency and decay, you can see how it's changed. So you remember the decay, if you place it to zero or one, it will be infinite. Amplitude, I think I don't need to explain and frequency, you also familiar with it is our speed. Okay, great. So the next button is null object. So it simply create null object on the center and all layers parented to it. So the next button is bounce. So it's very similar to elastic, but the effect little bit different. The next one. The next one is clone keyframes. You know that if you have a lot of layers and you highlight the keyframes, copy them and paste, for some reason we have layer duplication and it's very boring to duplicate it manually, highlight each layer. So imagine if you have hundreds of layers and you need to do it manually, it's a nightmare. So let me show you again. If you have easings, anything, it will duplicate them with the easing. And also if you hold shift, it will make a reverse duplication. The next one is merge shape layers. And you are already familiar with it. We used a lot in motion tools too. 
these buttons make the same. So extract and merge. Great. Let's jump to the next one and is is copy. So I will make some keyframes on the rectangle position. I will use our sliders from the motion tools and you can see some easings. So let's make the keyframes linear and let me show you how to use the script highlight and click copy. It's the first button and highlight and click paste. So your speed graph, your easing will be automatically copied to the layers that you highlighted. So you can highlight as many keyframes as you want and easings will be applied. So the next one, I prepared some rectangles and if you click on the fill, it will choose all fills automatically. So you can have a lot of layers and if you click on the stroke, it will highlight the stroke and the same with the pass. So very useful buttons. Let's jump to the next one. I will click extract and let me place some keyframes again. Highlight the keyframes and if you go to the offset panel and click on these stairs, it will offset your keyframes one by one. So you can choose how many uh, keyframes you want to offset and also the step. So it will be two by two or three by three. Let me duplicate them even more. So highlight the layers, for example, choose step three and it will offset the layers. And if you will choose the keyframes, it will offset only the keyframes. Great. The next one is apply null to pass. So draw some pass and click on the button and you have the magic. Null objects parented to the points on the pass. The same with the next button. You can trace the pass. So you null object will be trace it on the path that you choose and you have this in the crazy shapes. So let me give you some great news. Motion Tools Pro will be free and we did it on purpose because after the course you still want to use uh, the most useful features and from DK tool for example and crazy shapes and we give you this opportunity. So we choose the most necessary button and place them in the motion tools. So the next button, you know this problem when you hold out and stretch your keyframes, uh, they somehow not fit to the timeline. So if you click on this button, keyframes will be aligned to the frame rate. For the next one, I will create some different shapes with different colors. And if you highlight all layers and click collect colors, you will see that this button found all colors in the layers. And as you can see, um, colors that has duplications button made only one slider for it and it's amazing. The next one is the limp. Science during the course we using limp from DK tool. We made 
another version uh, for the limp for the motion tools pro it has more possibilities and I will highlight them in the future lessons let's pre-compose these files and the next button make unpre-compose and as you can see the null object also appeared on the stage so for example if in the pre-compose you have some motion this button will save it but it will be unpre-composed very nice and very useful so for the next one let me make pre-compose and you know true comp duplicator and it's pretty similar to it so you can check uh, what's true comp duplicator doing and we jump into the next one auto crop so if you have pre-compose uh, this button will crop your layer and the last one is from DK tool again it's the loop so you're already familiar with it if you hold alt it creates ping pong loop and the last one is very useful reposition anchor point so I created separate button for it to make it very noticeable I'm using anchor point very often so if you have a lot of layers and you need to change anchor point it will do it for you so that's all for today and I want to tell you again that don't use like four panels at the same time two panels is enough uh, because as you can see when you apply some panel it will eat like 300 megabits of your memory okay so again I create panel 4 and let's see 300 megabits again so be careful when using a lot of panels unless you have a very good machine and uh, you can see the great possibility to use references right inside After Effects and you still can continue working and looking at the reference and I will be glad to see how you customized your After Effects please send your option in Discord and everyone will be glad to see it also thank you so much and see you in the next lesson bye bye